started with the makeup. I'm so excited to try all these new stuff. So first of all, I'm going to apply this uh, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. So as I said in the video, I have actually started using this. And uh, to be honest, I'm not like the biggest fan of this, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, the winter is coming so I have to try a lot of moisturizers out there and uh, figure out which one works for me because you know as I always and always say in my videos I have really dry skin so um, let's see. So I'm going to let that sit there for a couple of minutes. Alright so let's now move on to primer. Like all the products that I'm using are pretty much from the haul so just keep that in mind. And this is the primer by Bobbi Brown, a vitamin enriched face base. Open it up. Packaging is like luxury in a bottle, you guys. Like it's so beautiful. It's actually like a moisturizer plus primer. So you really don't need to, you know, wear a separate moisturizer. But anyways, I wanted to try that Kiehl's one out. So, oh my god, it smells so nice, guys. Oh. You have to try this out. So I'm gonna just blend this on my skin. Oh my god, it's really thick. So if you're like looking forward to buy a new primer, I'll tell you whether it's worth it or not. So far it feels so nice. I can still feel that fresh orange smell. <laughs> oh my god, I really miss eating orange as well. I cannot find like that typical Indian orange here in Canada. So. so now that's done, we are moving on to foundation. I'm so excited. Um, so we are going to use this Eat Cosmetics uh, foundation brush for the application. I believe it's a foundation brush and the other side is a concealer brush side. So I was actually confused whether I have to use the Giorgio Armani foundation or the Rare Beauty foundation. But then I thought like first let's give this one a go and then we can do like a separate you know full on wear test video for the right beauty one because it's a new launch this is not a new launch so so we can do like a full on wear test and review of the right beauty foundation so that you guys have an idea whether to buy it or not i think i'm gonna take oh that's a lot like two pumps of this on the back of my hand and i think i'm gonna go and apply it like that it has like a weird smell. I'm not really into the smell of this. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I still have a lot of foundation left on my hand. But I'm going to blend this out with this side of the brush. And let's see what happens. Because I really don't know whether it sets so fast or slow. So we have to work faster. Well, this brush is magic, you guys. It's so soft. Okay, so far good. I'm actually liking the finish of this foundation. And the shade match is like made in heaven, you know. It's like perfect for me. Okay, so let's apply to this side as well. Water is left on my hand. So let's see whether two pumps are enough for like a full coverage or, you know, whatever it is. So I'm gonna like... Blend it on this side as well. Wow. I think I found my next holy grail foundation. Like the finish. It's so freaking beautiful. Like look at that. It's so natural, right? Uh, of course, I'm not wearing any concealer. So this area might be like really dark. But apart from that, you can definitely see like it's so beautiful it's like natural it's it's like my skin in a bottle you know and it's not like too matte or too dewy it's like it's perfect okay so i think i'm gonna build another layer because i really want a little bit more coverage than this uh i actually don't mind this coverage but yeah maybe a little bit more so i took like one and a half pumps not too much and let's see how it builds the coverage because of course we'll be using concealer and stuff so we don't want like too much product on our face i'm gonna like blend it onto my neck and you can already tell like you know this is like blending so well onto my neck so i'm just going in with the brush once again so the reason why I'm not using a beauty blender is that you already know that beauty blender works well this, with this uh, foundation or any other foundation in the market. So that's why I wanted to give a good try to this brush. And I can tell you like it's worth it guys. It's so good. 
It's blending the foundation like a dream. I'm like obsessed with the finish of this foundation. So, so excited. So I'll be using this maybe only for like special occasions and you know whenever I have like important shoots or something like that because it's a very expensive foundation and on top of that it's a beautiful foundation so I don't want to waste it on a daily basis okay so I'm gonna take this Tarte mini shape tape concealer and I'm gonna apply it underneath my eyes and the shade match is so good for this one as well for like brightening and you know what not I'm applying it on the nose a little bit on the forehead just to like brighten up the center part of the face, right? And it's mini, so it's gonna be over soon. So I'll be buying the bigger version of this as well. So the foundation is actually very oxidizing uh, because right now only I just noticed that it's actually turned really dark. Oh, I look like a Christmas papa. Okay, so I think I can actually go a little bit more lighter for the shade, maybe six or maybe 5.9 or something like that. But for now, I'm actually happy because, you know, I have my concealers to save the day, so it's okay. And I don't really mind being a little bit more tan and everything. So yeah, I'm going to take this side of the brush, which is the concealer brush. Um, and I'm going to blend this out. Maybe it will take a lot of time. Yeah, I'm going to take this side itself, you know, to blend the concealer. That is actually blending beautifully guys like seriously do you see that like okay and uh, on the forehead and when i'm like blending the um, concealer it's not actually pulling the foundation underneath that's the symbol of the best combo you know okay so for under eyes i'm gonna use this brush and let's see how it blends so this brush is actually like really tiny it's taking a lot of time to blend but it's very precise as well like you can actually go Especially if you want to like clean up your eyeshadow or something like that. This brush is actually really good for that. But for a normal application, it's taking like way too long. So, I don't know. But it's blending really beautifully. That's a good thing. Okay, so for the other side, I might be using this side itself because it's much faster and easier. <laughs> I think I applied way too much product. I don't need this much. But it's like too thick around my eyes so you can see like once I apply the concealer the skin tone kind of changed completely but that's okay like it's not like too light or anything um, and once we set everything it will oxidize a bit and everything will fall in place I'm actually obsessed with this combination like the finish it's surreal guys it's so surreal okay so next step uh, we can set face so for under the eyes and the center part of my face i'm gonna use this charlotte tilbury flawless finish um airbrush powder yeah <laughs> i'm obsessed with this powder at the moment like it's so good it makes your skin like so flawless and you know it's not very brightening to be honest even though this is like the brightest shade in the range this is zero one but still it's not like too brightening you can actually see like once i apply that powder that light um, center part is actually torn down a little bit. So I think that's a good thing for at least me. <laughs> so if you're looking for like a brightening powder, you can actually go for like Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder or Laura Mercier, whichever it is. You can see like it's torn down my face. Now it's like my perfect shade, right? Um, I think I'm gonna finish off my face and only then I'll be moving on to my eyes. So for my blush and my bronzer, I'm gonna use this NARS uh, Duo palette. Blush Bronzer Duo in the shade Orgasm Blush and the Laguna Bronzing Powder. Create some shadow. Blush, apply it on my cheeks. I'm also applying a little bit, just a little bit on my nose. So now let's apply some highlighter. And we are using the Matchbox X uh, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. So beautiful, like it's really so beautiful. So I'm gonna just apply it. Oh my gosh. It's like really pigmented so you have to be careful actually. So I'm applying a little bit on the tip of my nose and also here. 
Those are the two spots where I like to highlight my nose. Not like the entire bridge, you know. And also a little bit here and a little bit here. And also on the chin. And on the cupid as well. So yeah, I just took it once and you can like see I can highlight my entire face using that tiny little dot. So a little bit goes a long way with this highlighter. So I'm like really blending it out on my skin. I'm living for this glow. It's so beautiful. I don't know whether it's looking as good on camera, but in real life, I can see in the mirror, it's looking so pretty. New Holly Grail, for sure. Okay, uh, let me apply some lipstick as well before I move on to my eyes. So I'm gonna like apply a dark brown lip liner. I don't know which brand this is. Yeah, you can apply any brown uh, lip liner if you are recreating this look. So I'll just apply the lip liner and now I'm going to apply some lipstick and this is in the shade uh, 030 Cinnamon Crush Matte Lipstick. Uh, this is by the way Flower Beauty Lipstick and I uh, really want to go like so neutral for this look because the eyeshadow is going to be like really colorful so uh, look at that color you guys it's so pretty but I want to make it a little bit more light. I'm going to apply this Rimmel Lipstick. It's called Lasting Finish Lipstick. Uh, Rosetto Rouge or whatever it is. It's like a really nice nude lipstick, like the lightest in the series. So I'm just gonna apply this on top of it. This is exactly what I wanted. I love like mixing lipsticks, you know. It gives you the perfect color that you actually want when you don't get it in the market. So for now, let's keep it like this and let's move on to the eye makeup. Oh my god. So for the eye makeup, I'm actually going to use, yeah, you guessed it, right? The ABH Norvina Volume 5 palette. But let's do some lavender shades. So that's why I'm wearing this beautiful purple lavender, whichever color you want to call it. And the slips as well, so that it matches the entire theme. So before that, let me finish off my brows and I'll be right back. So I'm back and I just filled in my brows. So uh, let's open this bad boy up. So this is what the palette looks like it's so freaking beautiful i can show you the colors in here so i'm gonna take the shade b3 first it's like a beautiful lavender shade and i'm gonna apply it oh my god look at that color guys it's so pretty i'm just applying it on the crease and the best part about this palette is that it's like zero fallout you know and the color payoff is amazing. Then I'm gonna take like a more precise brush and I'm just gonna apply the color C3. And I'm like blending it on the inner part of the crease just to like create a definition there. I'm really blending it out. It's so beautiful to blend, you know, it's like it's really easy to blend these shadows. So you can see like we got some depth there, right? Uh, we can take another like precise brush and I'm gonna take the shade. Oh my god, the shade C5 and E5 actually look pretty similar. Uh, I'm gonna take the shade C5 just a tiny bit because I really want to create like a deep, deep look for my crease. So now let's put some glittery shadow on my lid and I'm actually really confused of like which shadow to put. You know, okay, I think I'm gonna go with A3 and I'm gonna apply it towards the inner corners. Okay, um, and from here onwards, I think I'm gonna go with C1, which is like a beautiful, beautiful shade. I don't know how to describe it, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So more towards the outer corner. So now I'm just gonna take like a very dense, precise brush and I'm gonna take the shade D2. It's like a pressed glitter and I'm gonna apply it on the inner corners. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted. Just a tiny bit because it's like too intense, so we don't wanna overdo it. That's it. <laughs> and thank you so much. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the light lavender, which is like B2. It's like more like a pinkish uh, purple and I'm gonna like blend out the edges once again. Taking B3 and like a little bit more here. Yeah, and for my highlights like the inner corner and outer corner highlights, I'm gonna take the shade B1. It's like a silver shade and I'm gonna apply it. Oh my god, that's too much. Just a little bit 
on the brow bone here like blend it out with the finger and yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna go with c5 once again and really kind of like blend out the crease it's so beautiful guys it's like it's really pretty okay so the eyeshadow part is almost done and i'm so freaking proud of it we have to complete the under eyes as well so i'm not gonna do too much for the under eyes because you know we don't need that so i'm taking this uh, shade b3 and i'm gonna apply it just a little bit underneath my eyes just to make it lavender that's it okay so uh we are almost done with the eye part so now i'm gonna just Put on some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. So I've uh, done my eyeliner and uh, I actually applied some new eyeliner on my lower lash line. Uh, sorry, lower waterline. And uh, for my mascara, I'm actually going to use this Lancome Eye Level Mascara. This is actually something that I got for free from Sephora when I purchased a lot of items. It was like a sample to try out, you know. So um, yeah, I actually tried it on my one eye. Uh, on the lower lashes and it's actually really nice like you know it's really easy to apply on the lower lashes do you see that so you have to like dip it a couple of times to get that color but it's not that bad but let me try it for my upper lashes but before that i have to curl my lashes right and let's try this mascara it's more like a lengthening mascara than a volumizing one i usually personally prefer both like i want it to be like volumizing and lengthening at the same time i won't be buying the full size of it anyways because you know it's not magical or something i like my two face mascara better than this okay let it dry for a couple of minutes and we can like do the trick like pressing it again and then applying mascara again and by the way do you like my eye makeup i'm like obsessed it's so beautiful so the last thing we want to try out in this new makeup range is this morphe spray i already tried this out a couple of times to be honest but chill we are gonna apply it anyways um i'm actually obsessed with this <laughs> so i'm gonna spray this onto my face oh my god that's like beautiful that's so beautiful you guys i even like spray some to my neck area so that it looks so glowy and healthy okay so you can already tell like the face is looking so pretty i'm like impressed with this foundation it all comes down to foundation right whenever you are like wearing a makeup if your base looks good everything else will automatically look good so um i believe in foundations rather than like powders or whatever it is if your foundation is good everything else will automatically work out so that's what i believe in so this foundation this uh, georgia armani foundation is my new holy grail but still i won't be wearing this every single day it's so expensive and i don't want to waste it anyway so for now i'm really impressed i'm so happy with this makeup look especially the color match oh my god it's so perfect so yeah that's pretty much it so let me remove this actually it's really pretty but yeah i have to remove it anyways um i'm obsessed like i'm really obsessed with this eye look you guys oh my god it's so beautiful right it's so glittery it's so fun it's kind of like fall i don't know whether it's lavender is the fall color whatever it is i just love it it's so pretty i think lavender is more like a spring color yeah but i don't care <laughs> this is so pretty and uh yeah so uh, this is the finished makeup look and, and the setting spray has actually made my skin look even more dewy so i really like that dewy hydrated look and the feel um so yeah that's pretty much it so this is the final look you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial as much as i did and also give this video a big thumbs up if you like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you are new here and comment down below what you want to see next also what do you think about this makeup look will you be trying this on have you tried any of these products that i have used in this video and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so i'll see you in my next video next video is going to be another makeup tutorial because i really want to explore a lot of palettes that i already got in my 
you know, a boxy charm and a Sephora and everything. I have a lot of palettes to try out. I also want to try out the Rare Beauty Foundation. So the next tutorial will be the review of the Rare Beauty Foundation and some new eye look. But still, comment down below what you want to see next and I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.